Hello, everybody. This is Terry Nance, and I want to welcome you to 8 Minutes Strong with Armor Bearer. You're going to have a blessed day today. I want you to say something good's going to happen to me today in Jesus' name. I want you to say that and just praise God for all his goodness and his grace today. If you've been enjoying the videos, we've been sharing a couple of things. Uh, for sure, hit the subscribe button. But the second thing really is take this, send it out to people that you know, Facebook, Instagram, you know, whatever other ways that you can uh, just send the link to people for them to watch it, get connected to it, because my heart's desire is to just get this into the hearts of people and the lives of people, because I know it's bringing change. The Holy Spirit is awakening the spirit of the armor bearer across this country. That is why you're watching this right now. This is something I feel so strongly in my spirit. My Lord's been leading me into, you know, I, I uh, was, so the revelation came when I worked in a church in Little Rock, Arkansas, and now uh, and I was served there for 23 years. Then after that, went on the road for a little over six and a half, seven years, and then started church and, and have been pastoring the church and sowing into people, still doing conferences. But then uh, in August, man, I just sensed it is time. It's more relevant than ever before. And I began to pray about what to do. I had someone in my church, very precious man, Steve Chisholm, uh, he and his wife, they came to me and Steve just said, you need to do these videos, start doing a YouTube channel. So he's helped me tremendously, been an incredible armor bearer to me. But what is happening through this is that it is just awakening the spirit and the heart of an armor bearer across the country. And I have been so blessed to have people call me and say, uh, and get a hold of me, man, this is just changed my life. It's, it's stirred up that heart again. Um, uh, I, I want information on this. And so the more that we've done this now, I begin to sense the heart to coach and the heart to mentor and do it through Zoom, get the armor bearers connected together across the country, let people hear from one another. So that's what we're doing in our coaching and mentoring program. And so you can go to uh, our website, godsarmorbear.com, and you can get the information on that. But, you know, I've been talking about the Holy Spirit as a servant. The Holy Spirit is an armor bear. That's that's who he is. And it's all through the Bible. Uh, sec, uh, Philippians chapter two, verse three, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, uh, it esteem others better than yourselves. Now, I mean, and there it is. And then he really goes on and makes it even clearer. And let each of you not only look out for his own interest, but look out for the interest of others. Now, Paul is saying this by the Spirit. It is the Spirit who wrote these scriptures. So the Holy Spirit is, is all about you. And then the Spirit in me is about you. It's not about me. Uh, then the more I make happen for someone else, the spirit makes happen for me. And when we reach out to touch people and just do what we can to serve people and, and through the revelation of the spirit of serving, the spirit of an armor bearer, because that's what it is. Even though the armor bearer comes from an Old Testament scripture, uh, an Old Testament office, uh, in the New Testament, it's the heart of a servant. It is who the spirit is. It's who Jesus was. Uh, the father is here to love us and through Jesus Christ to manifest his glory through us to do what? To serve others. We are to esteem each other. So the more I can esteem and speak into your heart, the more it's going to increase the love of God and the power of God in you. But I'm just tell you, if you'll just start looking to the needs of others, what can I do to meet someone at one's need today? Oh, wow. What a what a, what a radical change or instead of what can I do to get promoted today? No, what can I do to make a difference in someone's life? What can I do to actually esteem someone and promote someone and speak into their life? So then here it is. This is, this is the gospel of Jesus, the gospel of the spirit. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Now this is not a suggestion. 
This is it. Paul's saying, this is the attitude. Now you're born again from your spirit, but your mind has to be transformed and has to come under the total surrender to the Holy Spirit. And that is... Uh, I'm really not trying to get more of the Holy Spirit in me because God dwells in me. Jesus lives in me through the Holy Spirit. No, the Holy Spirit in me. What I need is revelation of him and that connection between my thought life and my mind and my emotions to him. And you know how that comes? It comes through surrender. So when I surrender every thought to him, I'm surrendering my thought life, but I'm surrendering my attitude to the Holy Spirit. In other words, I'm going to respond to a situation the way the Holy Spirit responds. That's what I choose to do. In other words, I'm not going to pop off out of anger. I'm not going to walk in like, like I am somebody and you're going to respect me for who I am. And I'm not going to dominate or try to control people, manipulate. No, that's, the, that's witchcraft. That's the devil. Uh, that's, that's nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. No, he's about others. He's about co-laboring through you. Uh, to minister to others. And that's what the, the armor bearer is all about. It just starts right there. It's the, the spirit of the armor bearer is the spirit of Christ. It's the spirit of humility. It is, uh, letting this mind be in you. In other words, I'm yielding my, my mind, my feelings, my emotions. I'm going to yield it to the spirit, the spirit of an armor bearer. And I'm going to serve others. And he says, now here is Jesus. He, he being in the form of God, didn't consider it robbery to be equal with God, but he made himself of no reputation, take on the form of a bond servant coming in the likeness of men. So what he did, he's talking about being a servant, a bond servant. That's what Jesus is. Humility, the Christ-like humility is manifested in the freedom of God's Son to affirm the fullness of all God has placed in him without needing to flaunt it, to prove it, to push it through self-advancement. Jesus, complete absent of any need to clutch for power to the attention uh, or attention is the manifest of humility. He didn't clutch for power. If he wanted to do that, he could have become king anytime he wanted to. No, you're not clutching for recognition of, uh, of power. You just, man, you just humble yourself. And some, I've had people come up to me and, and I have and, and they've said, you know, Pastor Terry, uh, you know, I just, God told me to be an armor bearer to you and this and that. And I always say, well, that's okay. Well, let's just see what happens. And, uh, nothing ever happened from that. And so I, I look at it and, and the truth is you don't need to tell your pastor, I just believe I'm called to armor bearer. No, just go do it. Let that, your doing of serving, bring the recognition. He'll see that in you. And that's exactly the way Jesus does. Uh, so I pray this blesses you. Go to godsarmorbearer.com. And you can contact me from there. Have a wonderful day.